reason gold gives high rewards, but does come... Kick off your week by installing your game plan. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the beginning of a new era for this young man in the pros. Rookie seasons can be notoriously tough for quarterbacks. We'll have to see how seamlessly he can make the jump from college to the next level. It's the Ravens going up against the Bengals. Larry, we are in the place the folks here call the jungle, and that's Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Come out throwing here to start the drive. Escaping the pressure right. Open space inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Brandon LaFell, his intended target, and it's second down. Here we go! He'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he will score! Touchdown, Cincinnati! It's their quarterback with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bengals are going to take their first quarter lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, But for the Bengals, it was another season without a playoff win last year. They haven't won a playoff game since January of 91. That's the longest active drought in the league. But for the first time in six years, it was a season without a playoff appearance as they limped home last season, 6-9-1. and one. None of us really anticipated that either. So they realized where some of their deficiencies lay. And one of them, speed outside. And they ended up drafting John Ross out of Washington, who ran a 4-2-2 40-yard dash at the combine and also added a big-time back in Joe Mixon, who can run and catch with equal proficiency. He'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Tyus Bowser 
in there to bring him down, and it'll be a play to remember for that young man, the first sack of his NFL career. Looking to throw. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. A.J. Green last year, a career low in yardage of his six NFL seasons. It was the first one he didn't post 1,000 yards. I was there against Buffalo when he put a hamstring early in the game and missed the rest of the season. So that's why the numbers were down. A healthy A.J. Green, we know what we're going to get. Big-time production. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The best defensive linemen. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A.J. Green from three yards out. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Reminder that later tonight, we'll see the Giants and Cowboys battle in Dallas. Seems like they're always playing in week one. And then on Monday night, a doubleheader. Adrian Peterson, his first game with the Saints. He's already back in Minnesota to play the Vikings. And then a 10-20 start on the East Coast. It's the first game for the L.A. Chargers traveling to Denver. A nice AFC West matchup. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. to throw now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he's got some space here. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Come on, let's get it round. Let's round. Back to throw. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on. Third down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. He can run for it, and he will. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Come on, let's go. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Two minutes to go here in the first half. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. 
A reminder coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of our first half. Oh, ah, that's my man. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Tyus Bowser in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. start this drive in the air and there's the first NFL catch for John Ross and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down on first down he'll drop to throw and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got him for a sack the Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Back to throw here. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Torn back across his body. Picked off by the longtime charger, Eric Weddle. And his guys have got... Start by running the option to the right. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. So we've reached halftime here. All right, we will save the week one. They'll come out throwing here on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Brandon LaFell, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And Green with a catch left side. And he's going to be shoved down pretty hard. Give him 17 and a Cincinnati first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw left side, complete to Ross. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Brandon LaFell, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. 
I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And this is taken in at the five. A gain of 32 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. He was looking to get it to LaFell there, and that'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action, maybe throwing it. He was looking for John Ross that time. Third down here. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands... throw here. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And Cincinnati score. A big play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Around the NFL, they've gone to the third in Cleveland. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Go. Cody Kessler, two touchdown passes to lead the way. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. <laughs> and he takes this one down all the way near the 30. That was a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Tyus Bowser in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass. And the pressure gets to him again. Tyus Bowser in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Their mobile quarterback. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time looking at week
back to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A.J. Green, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bengals just continue to pour it on. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. He'll tell the ownership that. He tries to... Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Sliding out of the pocket. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Tyus Bowser, he's the one to get him. And that's sack number. like he'll throw here and he's got his favorite target yet again it's complete give him 17 at a Cincinnati first down and the offense moving quickly to the line they're going to look to throw eluding the pressure right oh he got position on him and he pulls it in a very solid gain of 27 They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And some room to work. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here we go. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for Cincinnati, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Houston Texans next week. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL.
Once you're ready, go ahead and select Advance Week to get to your next game. Don't forget, work on installing your game plan prior to this week's matchup. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. It was a tremendous passing display that this man put on last week. Short, deep, intermediate. He made all the throws. And he had the yards to prove it, not to mention the win. He's riding high coming into this game. It's the Texans going up against the Bengals. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd. And they're all set as they'll match up with the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. And last week, they put together a three-touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, they were losers their last time. They'll set up to throw. Flush to his right. And some space here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Here we go. They'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. It's caught. Left side, Brandon LaFell. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good. And a big loss here as he's taken down. J.J. Watt in there to bury him for a loss of 11. He probably feels like he cannot get a break. He was sacked seven times last week. And here we go again in the first quarter. And he's going to go down again. Whitney Merciless in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would... Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A.J. Green, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first-quarter lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns. 
now here come the Bengals. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. Underneath, this is Bernard. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Come on, let's go! And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. J.J. Watt in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. An eight-yard gain, so that gets him halfway there. Now they're left with a third and eight more. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Red zone opportunity. Come on, let's go! From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future all-pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Room here to run. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. And he can't hang on. That would have been a big interception down here. The Bengals offense now. They head back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, Touchdowns. Finding some room at midfield. Green's got it over the middle. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 60 yards. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time... And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Bernardrick McKinney able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. It's their quarterback with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into... A... 
Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. A good pick up there, a 22. Looking to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's green. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. A.J. Green as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that can finish... The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you and got his man complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. AJ Green, his third touchdown again and fifth on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. This is obviously quite a performance, and most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Well, they were good last time out with a touchdown drive. This go around, it's not going to be very easy starting from inside their own five. But they shouldn't be daunted by it. You work on this the entire offseason. You work on it in practice. It's called coming out session. Start the ball inside the five, start on the five, on the ten. They should be ready to go. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to them. 15 big yards. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there. Could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too. And they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. And you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. Now Bernard. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Dan Williams. 
breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. He'll drop the throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. They'll run it here with Bernard. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Looking sideline incomplete. The tight end C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A.J. Green, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know getting to the next level, right, when we see people get into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on. Just carving him up. Four Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Watch tight, watch tight. Tight here right, tight here right. Let's go. They'll begin here with Bernard. Shrugs him off. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Flushed out right. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Back to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And it's second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because if you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. A bagel first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Nifty footwork at the 45. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. incomplete he just dropped it but they're up big on the scoreboard so maybe he can chuckle about later and it is true you can draft the fastest you can draft the most athletic guys but if they don't know the art of positioning sometimes it's all for naught in this case in the right spot that force the incompletion well, had his hands on it for a second would have been a tough catch though falls incomplete give him 17 and a cincinnati first down 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. That is caught at the seven. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the play. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They'll run here with Bernard. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Whitney Merciless in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Here we go. Uh -oh. On play action, they'll throw. They'll buy some time. And a touchdown here as we near the end of this ball game. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for the Bengals they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Before we go any further, make sure to install your game plan for your upcoming matchup. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. It was a tremendous passing display that this man put on last week. Short, 
deep, intermediate. He made all the throws, and he had the yards to prove it, not to mention the win. He's riding high coming into this game. It's the Bengals going up against the Packers. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense. start the drive complete to the right side it's Eifert give him nine there on the first down completion seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays makes me glad I didn't make it in that league I would have had a really difficult time but now you get to sit up here with me yeah and that's fun isn't it and what a really nice game right there on first down for them brings up a nice second down for them 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down Obviously, a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big game to boot. And yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So here we go, first and ten now. the play fake he'll look to throw flush to his right they find some open field here and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49 he'll get eight on the scramble there it'll be second and a couple now that was not a bad scramble there on first down he didn't force it nor did he throw it away he was able to take off and now he made it a very manageable second and short escaping the pressure right oh he's able to out muscle him here as he pulls it in the Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Caught Eifert over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. And now lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. 
Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And here comes play number six on this drive. They send Green to the left on his own. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. It's their quarterback with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the past. A reminder coming up in the Sunday night game, matchup you don't see very often, a rematch of Super Bowl 18. The Raiders traveling to Washington. And then tomorrow on Monday night, we'll see the Cowboys heading to the desert to take on the Cardinals. Former NFC East rivals. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. shotgun he'll look to throw and green with a catch left side and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 give him 17 and a cincinnati first down Here we go. now on first down he'll drop to throw it flushed out right and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jake Ryan in there to drop him for a loss on the play. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means other guys on his team helped him out a lot. They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allows him to get home. And a nice gain of 21 yards. to throw here on first down. Breaks a tackle. Gets around him. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Back to throw here. He gets this one to Boyd. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Lambo following these words. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, unless you decide to skip him. And for the record, we do not encourage that. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Steps away to his left. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give him another shot here. In the and this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. As in the defense. And yes, they want the point. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Well, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now 
You have an opportunity to make him. And this is caught. And he's brought down after a good game. A gain of 32 that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in the center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Amon Brooks able to get in there and drop him behind the line. He'll look to throw. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flush to his right. His pass caught at the four. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the pass. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go. What? Nine, two, three, five, two, three. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Ahmad Brooks. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just... And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big play there for Cincinnati. 51 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Nick Perry. Coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. They'll look to throw. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five-yard line. A good pick up there. 26 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run. As we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll set up to throw, and that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A.J. Green with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Three yards to go on second down. They're going to look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. 
Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Let's go! They'll look to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Throwing here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. There we go. Back to throw now on first down. And a right side completion here by LaFell. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. So the offense has it first and ten. They'll drop the throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Kenny Clark able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. Here we go. He'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. LaFell, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Buying time to his left. To the left side here for Eifert. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Pushing his way through. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. Let's go! Let's go. He'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. Mike Daniels in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and goal. Back to throw. Under pressure again. And down he goes again. Kenny Clark in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. He had three touchdowns already, but won't get a... Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, 
do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession game. This one not fully over yet. Looks like he'll throw here. And he finds LaFell complete. And he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 30. 23 yards on the play. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. They go play action here on first down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Looking to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, he'll drop to throw. The quick slant caught. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Or are you I, one of those guys who's skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly. Wise beyond his years. So for Cincinnati, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Meanwhile, for the Packers, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears.